Hi everybody, this is my review on this movie I got. It's, I'm sure, if a lot of you, if a lot of you collect DVDs, you know, like such, there's a pretty good chance you know who the YouTube user Cool Duder is. His name is Sean Phillips. And he used to do, like, almost all of his videos with MJ Kelly. But, you know, because of this movie, Sean ends up moving to San Diego, California, while MJ stays in Maryland. It's kind of a dramatic change for it in this movie around the country. I'm about to review Captures Them, you know, like, at their last best. You know, their most known show they did was, you know, not only they did the, the Don and Murph show, but then they did the Around the Town vlogs, which were always my favorite. And you know, I've adapted to that. I'm doing my own. As you saw, I just uploaded this video. Uh, Saturday vlog 2-26-11. I just uploaded that vlog. You know, I make all my vlogs they're mostly tuesday vlogs or weekend vlogs but they're all based off them i'm gonna do that for a while and it's based off these guys and since this is the around the town movie instead of calling it around the town for the movie they called it around the country and that's pretty much what it is it's sean and mj driving in his car and this is what his car looks like right there I don't know what the I, I forget what they call those kinds of cars it's on top of my head but it's them driving from Baltimore Maryland all the way down to San Diego California and let me just start by saying this was actually pretty damn entertaining <laughs> you know I've sent stuff to Sean to his PO box before I know he's doing that again I have not had a chance to send him anything uh, so getting off, this movie, it, I don't know if it's planned or not, I think it is, which kind of takes away some of the fun, but throughout the whole movie, this is about 90 to 100 minutes long, it, Sean keeps playing all these really bizarre pranks on MJ, like, when he opens the movie, it's MJ sleeping and he pours water all over his head, you know, then... You know, I'm not going to say it all. I'm just saying that's how he opens it. Uh, first off, the menu. The menu does not automatically come on this movie when you put the disc in. The movie automatically starts when you put the disc in. But when the movie is over, the menu comes on. And I don't know why, but the menu to this movie has got this really creepy music playing. I have absolutely no clue why, but if you buy this DVD... When it starts, click on the menu button to your remote. It's creepy. It's got some creepy music on the menu. Sean, if you're watching this, I'm thinking about sending this to you. On your Cool Duder account, comment on this video and tell me why did you put creepy music like that on the menu. <laughs> Alright, so then, you know, they're driving, they're stopping in all these locations. There's this one part where they stop at this cave exploration thing which was kind of cool and there were these guys you know swinging on ropes I, I don't know what you call that exactly I know in one of my videos the video was called another Michigan vacation that's the name of the video another Michigan vacation check it out it's from the summer of 2010 uh, I was in Boyne Mountain Michigan and I was at this resort type place where a ski lift was and I was recording people going across those rope things and I, I don't know what you'd call them though that was pretty fun they stay at a bunch of motels they go to eat at all these places they don't really visit any DVD shops in the movie which of course because they gotta save money for their trip I'm trying to think what else cool have it my favorite, I'll get to my favorite part of the movie, like, towards the end, since it happens towards the end of the movie. As you can tell, the case, they mimic the Back to the Future case right there, the way they write around the country on there. Uh, there's this, you know, if you watch the Around the Town vlogs, you know that running gag Sean has with MJ, where if MJ ever puts something in his mouth, mainly just, like, food... 
he always makes like this really weird like <laughs> slurping noise like that. He does that a bunch of times in this movie, and I have no clue why it cr just cracked me up all the times he did that. <laughs> Like, there's this one, when he did it the first time, they were in, like, this ice cream parlor, <laughs> and MJ's face, when he did it, was just hysterical, Sean, he puts the ice cream in his mouth, Sean makes a noise, and he's like, looking like he's about to spit it out all over the place, and then they were eating, like, these fiery Cheetos, MJ put one in his mouth, and he made the noise again, and MJ, like, punched him, and Sean's like, ooh, MJ, <laughs> Those, they were saying they were eating those Cheetos, and they said it was like really gross. Now I'm sorry, this isn't like a good review. Is when I review, you know, you know, like actual movies. But this, in, there's not too much to say about this one. This is a good movie, as of course it says ages 17 and up, because there's a lot of language in this movie, and that's mainly the only reason. Uh you know, the disc is pretty cool. It looks just like the cover. It's pretty cool how they actually got this manufactured. Uh, my favorite part of the movie happens towards the end when they stay at a wigwam hotel in Arizona. You know, they show it on the back cover. And the reason they show the ghost coming out of there is because they think it's haunted. Uh, Sean was telling the story about when they were sleeping in the wigwam. He set the air conditioner take this back. He set it to like here, the air conditioner to here, and when he woke up in the morning, the knob was here, or something like that. And then he said he woke up during the night and MJ was like talking to somebody. I don't know. I don't know how that goes, but he was telling these parents and then there's this funny story they told when they first got to the Wigwam Hotel when they were, um, he, apparently he walked into the wrong cabin and there was like an elderly woman in her underwear or something like that that MJ was talking about. That's pretty funny. So yeah, go to Amazon.com. This is, I think it's ten dollars and fifty cents if you want to buy this. Buy this. Support Sean and MJ. I have not really. This is the only DVD I own of any of Sean Phillips' works. I want to get that President's Day when it comes out. That looks pretty interesting. Sean cracked me up in the trailer almost. He's like. I don't remember the exact line. He's like, this is the Lincoln, this isn't the Lincoln Loonies or something like that. I don't remember it. I only watched the trailer once, but I know I got a good laugh out of it. So check this movie out. It's a very good documentary style film Sean and MJ made. It's, you know, their last full time together captured in a movie. It's really kind of epic. Um. And, uh, yeah, again, Sean, if you're watching this, put in the comments. I want to know about that music playing on the menu. The menu music just creeped me out. I know I kind of sound wimpy for that. I'm just saying the it creeped me out. The music on the menu creeped me out. I can't say anything. All right, my next reviews are going to be three review. Well, two reviews after this. I will be reviewing the three. Three short films by Nacho Cerda included in the DVD set of Aftermath and Genesis. I'm going to put my review of The Awakening separate. That's only going to be like a three minute review though. The Awakening is only like ten minutes long. But then I'm going to put Aftermath and Genesis in one review. So stay tuned for my review of The, the Awakening and then Aftermath and Genesis. Alright. So, check out, Sean, tell me about that music, man, that, that stuff's creepy.